Wacko Jacko. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm back, baby. It's Michael Jackson, the king of wow. pop in the Airwolf Studios. Jackson. Oh, yeah. Okay, for, for new listeners. I snuck past the guard. He was asleep. Oh, well, <laughs> That's not good to not hear. really good sneaking. He was asleep, and I took the keys off his belt, and I got all the way up here, and I came in, and then I pushed some interns out of the way, and here I am. Hee hee. Wow. Oh, dear. For, for new listeners of the show, um, Michael, you were on the show last year. Let me explain what's happening. Michael, uh, we all know Michael Jackson passed away, RIP. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, you, you've been in hell for a few years. Mm-hmm. And you, you, uh, hell is in the core of the earth, I believe we talked about it. Yep, where, down it, in the core of the earth. It's very hot. And where do you sleep when you're in hell? I sleep in a big old stone pizza oven. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. <laughs> now you get- They use mine to when they want to make pizzas. <laughs> I'm the worst one down there, and I don't get to sleep when, when it's pizza night. Wow. Oh, that's too bad. They don't, they don't kick anyone else out of their bed but me. <laughs> so now every once in a while for good behavior, and what is good behavior again if you're in hell? Well, because you're there for bad behavior. What is good behavior while you're in, you're in hell? Well, any of the bad stuff you do on earth, you just can't do down there. But you know me, I just have to kind of sit on my hands for a while. Wow. <laughs> so you just kind of don't you don't rock the boat, and then they let you come up. Yeah, no, I don't rock the boat that flows down the lava river. Mm, the river, the river sticks. Yeah. Are there uh, bad little boys in hell? By the way, we I don't know that we ever talked about this. That... Oh, there's bad little boys in hell. Oh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, Neil. Mm-hmm. I was a big fan of your rap about picking up little boys at the pool. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> imagine you were. Well, I was a big fan of your mu- music as well, Michael. Oh, thank you so much. And you were talking about the Boy Scout Jamboree, too. That's something I'm a fan of. <laughs> okay. oh, wow. oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Go roll your eyes. All uh, right. All right, me. Michael. But now, for every once in a while, for good behavior, you get out uh, of hell for a while, and you, you take over the body... Of, That's right. My soul shoots straight up the butt of an overwhite fat. An overwhite? <laughs> an overwhite fat. <laughs> I would say the person's body I mean, is a little overwhite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a little too white. And a little overweight. An overweight white person. And I walk the earth in their skin. I share their consciousness. I share their body. Their, my voice is whatever shitty impression that person would, would have done of me. Oh, wow. Okay. okay, so that's why you don't sound exactly like the no. Michael Jackson we know and love. No way. Hee hee. No way. Uh, and then and then hee hee is not actually you laughing. It's more of, uh, you, well, it expresses a variety of emotions. Well, it's right? one of my, yeah. It's, one of your it's most... the only one I'm allowed to use, so I got to kind of stretch it, you know? Yeah, we talked about that last time. You're You're not... Allowed when you're on Earth to say some of your most famous catchphrases like Shamon, right? Correct. Don't don't try and make me say it. I'm gonna get a pitchfork in the butt. No. <laughs> but you are allowed to say he he. He he. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome back to the show. It's uh, so good to be here, Scott. I, we Ooh, thought you were it's... Gerard Carmichael. Do you know Gerard? I don't. Oh, okay. Well, he uh, he he's. Hard. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Okay, he may walk. He he may walk in here at uh, a certain point. So he he sounds like a really nice guy. <laughs> so welcome back to the show. What you're out for good behavior? What's going on? Oh yeah, I uh, I sat on my hands for four more months, mm-hmm. and I got to walk around up here. But I wanted to come back for a reason. Oh okay. I have an announcement to make. Oh, that uh, fantastic. That's impressive. Let's hear it. And I chose your podcast to make this announcement. Are you honored? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, uh, I, your last appearance, I don't know that it was a fan favorite, but it was... Uh... I'm a fan of the show, and it was one of my favorites. Okay, well, that's so good to know. I'm oh, that's nice. honored and excited to get to be It seemed like Rob Delaney was... I mean, it's was... no top 15. No. It seemed like Rob Delaney was bumming out on it a little bit. What do you think? Well, you... fuck that guy. Oh. <laughs> no, Rob's a nice guy. We all like him. Buy his book. <laughs> yeah, remember we talked about his book a lot last time, didn't he- we? he Okay, so what is your big announcement? Well, what kind of announcement can you have about hell? I mean, is hell opening back up? Oh, or it's not they about turning hell. people away and zombies are going to be the start? It's about this great green earth covered okay. with people of all shapes, sizes, 
colors and creeds. Oh, and ages too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's old people. There's <laughs> I, yeah. sort of youngish old people. Uh-huh. And then there's key. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, okay. All right, Michael. We understand. All right. Wait, what? I, no. you, are, you love kids. That's it's, Yeah, kids. It's not a secret. I can't say that there's kids. There is. I, you can say whatever you want. No, we had no reaction to you saying They're everywhere. When, everywhere you look around, there's kids. It's a dream. <laughs> okay. All right. So my announcement is. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, mm. boys and girls, especially. Okay. Please. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going on tour. Wait, what? I'm going on tour. I figured if I get to walk around in this body for a little bit, I get to spend some time on Earth. Be honest with you, Satan doesn't want me to come back down. He hates me. Why does Satan hate you so bad? What do you think? Because you're so bad. Yes. I'm so bad. <laughs> so I'm I, so I would, thriller. I would. That's I would a joke about the names of my albums. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. He <laughs> he. I would. I would think <laughs> that that Satan would love you because you're the worst that ever was. No 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 no. That's how bad the stuff that I did was. He hates me so much. You're sure? I mean. Look, for all the things that you may or may not have done that are bad, you also did a lot of good and you contributed a lot of charities. Is that why he hates you or is it because of the bad stuff? It's because of the bad stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's going to hate Woody Allen when he gets to hell. <laughs> I, I would... Uh, I would... Me and Woody are good friends. R- you Really? Yeah. <laughs> what did you have to bond over? I mean, comedy or... You know what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So... so... Soon ye... <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> is that going to be one of your catchphrases now? Soon ye. <laughs> so, Michael, you're just going to be touring in the body of this kind of schlubby white guy? That- yeah, I'm going on tour. Right now, I've talked to several venues. Most of them, all of them turn me away because they think I'm just a crazy white person. <laughs> but I keep getting out there. Here's what happens. Okay. I go to a venue. Mm-hmm. They say... I say, hey, I'm Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Sure. He he. He he. Soon ye. <laughs> I say, I'd like to do a show here. They arrest me. They call the police. The, the police arrest me. They put me in a mental institution. I forcibly take my soul out of the person that I'm in. It seems like they're dead. <laughs> Wait. The, the people per- at the mental institution. The person's soul isn't? I thought you were sharing... That person's consciousness. Yeah, but they're like pretty out of it for at least a day after that. Oh, okay. They need to recover. They think they're dead. They bury the person in a graveyard. (laughs) My soul goes back into their body and I climb out the graveyard and I go to the next venue. Oh, a lot like the Thriller video. (laughs) (laughs) Why don't you contact like your old tour manager or or manager or agent or someone and say things that only you would know so that that you can convince them? I did. Like, what's something only Michael Jackson would know that the oh, public wouldn't question. know about him? Hmm. Well, that my tour manager would know, too. Or an agent or someone who could help a you A close out. confidant. Um, well. Blanket. My favorite candy is Spice Drops. <laughs> I don't know that that's, that, I mean. That seems like they have my deposit. I mean, I've never heard that. I'm just that. going through that's the true. list. I'm just going. Let's see. Um... Do you have any secret rooms my in Neverland? Or? Something you said to someone once in, in, in a A secret privacy? you told, something you never told anyone? I else? once told Dr. Conrad Murray that uh, <laughs> yes. if he ever goes into my secret vault, I'll kill him. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe you could contact Conrad Murray and he could vouch for you. I did. He's the only one who believes me. Oh, oh okay. okay. So yeah. that has happened. He, he's the only one who believes me, but he's in jail now. I think he's I out. Think he's out, yeah. Oh, he it's- lied to me. Oh. <laughs> he didn't want to hang out with me, so he lied to me. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I've got bad. no friends. He, I you're, wish Ben was friends? still alive. Sort of. Who, you wish he was still alive? Ben, ben. my oh, mouse. Oh, your mouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. When did he die? I don't even remember. We did many, that- many years 70s, ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wrote a song about him. Oh, yeah. But my father, Joe Jackson, beat him to death with a shoe. <laughs> Just know. like my other brother that never made it in the Jackson 5. Wait, you had another brother? Yeah. What was his name? 
Bebo. <laughs> Bebo. Bebo Jackson, huh? Yeah. And yeah. and Joe beat him to death with a shoe like a rat? Well, he was a little baby and he spit up on my father, Joe Jackson, and you know the temper he had, and he beat him to death with a shoe. Had they been making plans on, on making it a Jackson 6? Yeah, or, was it called Jackson it 6 kinda... for a while? Oh, yeah. He, it was a Jackson 6 for a well, we were already older. Uh huh. And it was kind of an unplanned birth. Okay. Pregnancy. Oh, okay. So you had sure. been recording as the yeah, Jackson Five. Because he's younger than Janet. Mm. Mm. And we thought, hey, that'd be great. He can at least be our equipment manager. He could load in all our stuff, but he was a baby. Anyways, he spit up on Joe Jackson, <laughs> and Joe Jackson beat him to death with his shoe. And what? we buried him right next to Ben. <laughs> in the backyard. Oh, that's oh a Lord, terrible What a great story. story. No, Hee-hee. a terrible story. <laughs> Why are oh, you? it's my favorite story Please of don't, childhood. Don't, oh, no, oh, don't laugh Oh, I at love that. it. I have a, a, a hell-related question. Oh, yeah. we. You know, I'd love to hear all the rules of hell. Because I got all the answers. When you? Richard Her- Harrow is on the show, we learn all about all the different heavens, and so mm. it's interesting to hear the opposite. Is is When you're in hell, are you kept apprised of the goings-on on Earth? Or as just a soul trapped there, like do you yeah, get do you up have here monitors or TV like, screens? We get all the tabloid magazines, mm. the Inquirer, oh, and the Sun, and all those. And we, but just like in Men in Black, all those are true. <laughs> just like in Men in Black, wow. like in Men in yeah. Black, that's the real news. Well, you were in the Washington Post and the New York Times and the L.A. Times. And mm-hmm. CNN, those are all, f- those are all just cover-ups. Hmm. Yeah. Which Men in Black movie so were you in? when 9-11 happened, oh, I was the dog. Oh, you okay. were? I thought, well, I thought right. yeah, okay. Well, you appeared well. as yourself, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, right. <laughs> Look, I don't remember. I was on my special milk. You've been through a lot, yeah. <laughs> Your Jesus yeah. juice. Yeah. Yeah, let's cut me some slack here. I was going through a lot of stuff for my entire life, That's every true. second That's of my true. whole life. That's true. Because of Joe Jackson. Oh, you blame everything on Joe? Not everything. Oh. But most things. It seems like if you could remember that one little bit of trivia about Men in Black, you'd remember being in it as well. <laughs> Well, they never let me into the screening. Oh, oh why? Because it was PG-13. Okay, come on. Mike. What? <laughs> come on, Michael. What? I don't, we, I don't like those me? kind of jokes here on the show. I'm not joking. <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> I have another, I've never joked. I have another question. Okay. Wait, I don't know that that one was answered, I guess. Yeah, well... It, oh, okay, it, it, yeah, no, we tabloids. read the yeah. Inquirer, okay, we sure, read sure. the tabloids. Right, right, right. So, it is true that Satan's face was in the clouds of the 9-11 debris. Oh, wow. What about... Never mind. Uh, <laughs> I was going to ask you about Room 237, but let's not... What is Room 237 They claim again? Stanley Kubrick's face is in the clouds and that... Oh, uh, right. Why, why, why drag that? down this podcast with Yeah, why keep talking like that? about that? I know. Here's what I'm going to ask you. Okay. When I was a little kid, mm-hmm. I was living in Virginia. I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, I knew this would get your attention. I was living in Virginia... I'm about uh, six years old, five years old. Uh-huh. Um, my, uh huh. Um, my my brother's three years younger than me. We get our first ever pets, which are hermit crabs, and we're allowed to name them. Mm. Ooh, this is getting juicier. And I <laughs> named my hermit crab Michael Jackson. Oh. Um, and then one night, my parents, after my brother and I had gone to bed, woke us up, and so that my brother and I could watch us, could watch them race the hermit crabs against each other on a coffee table. <laughs> I guess my question is, do you think my parents were drunk when they did that? <laughs> I think your parents were very loving, and you should be very grateful for all the love that they gave you. Okay. And, Neil, I have something to tell you. Oh, my God, your hand's on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, your hermit crab Michael Jackson died mm-hmm. and went to hell. Oh, my God. But guess what? What? He says Hello. And he says he loves you. Oh, well, oh. And he says he misses you every day. Well, you tell him I love him, too. I'm surprised he's in hell. That's all. I guess <laughs> yeah, he, what did he do? He, well, said he, was, he parents, had no religion, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. And he said your parents were drunk. Oh, okay. That wow. night. Are all animals in hell? Because it's hard for animals to find religion. Only the bad ones. Only the ones who have sinned. So it doesn't matter if you have religion or not. Just if you've sinned, you go to hell. That must be everybody. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you, if you don't. Subscribe to a specific religion? That doesn't mean that heaven and hell don't exist. You should listen to all those evangelical Christians. They're right. 
Oh, wow. Okay, but I thought that they believed that you could get to heaven if you believed in religion. Believed in religion and were completely free of sin. Okay, well, all, right. all right. That hermit crab, you know why he went to hell? No. Well, it was too pinchy. Oh. <laughs> okay, I get it now. He pinched too many fingers and uh, it never said sorry. You are you were a little pinchy in your day, weren't you? Yeah, why do you think I'm in hell? Among other things, he, he, all right, so all right. All right, look, we need to take a break. Um, I'm glad we hit on another catchphrase for you, Soon Yi. I think that's going to stick. So oh, yeah. yeah I'm s- that's great. I'm so excited. But I, I wait till I tell Woody. I want to hear more about this tour of yours. So uh, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have more Neil Campbell, more Michael Jackson. Uh, Gerard might show up. Who knows what's going to happen? This is a, a crazy episode. Yeah. 